What's up everyone? Welcome back. If you're new here, welcome. I'm Chris and today I have a really, really super exciting haul. I have my Teddy B's order. Um, this is from the pre-order she had in September. I'm really excited. This is probably the largest amount of wax I have purchased to date in one sitting that is. Um, yeah, I'm looking at this tower here. I'm so excited. However, I was really upset today when I got home because, let me just say, what's wrong with the people who work at the post office? Side of my house. I've got a big awning that comes over the side door, right? Because, you know, if it's raining or snowing, you would like to have an awning when you're going in and out of your house, right? I come home. Here's the awning. Where's my package sitting? Just outside the awning in the rain pouring rain so my box was soaked I was so angry but anyway I'm not gonna rant any longer because I really want to get into this grab a drink grab a snack this might be a long video I'm gonna try to keep it to an hour as best I can so let's get started Okay, so everything, like I said, is out of the box. That would have taken forever to do, do that on camera, so I've taken it all out. It's all set up here. I tried not to look at the labels when I was putting them out, because as I grab them, I want to be surprised. I'm like a child. I, I know, but... Okay, so Tiffany Smith is the owner of Teddy Bees, and they are out of Texas. And when you get your order, it comes with a thank you, and all her social media and business info is on the card and on the back of the card she has tips for um melting and enjoying her wax i'm not going to read that because i don't want to take time away from the video if you ordered you're going to get one too if you want to know the tips ask me in the uh comments and i will gladly share okay so we'll start with the samples. First one is, which is Be Crazy for Pistachio. This one I am pretty sure I ordered because, well, because I'm crazy for, for pistachio. So let's see, and I do have the original uh, list here and I have, you know, highlighted and what I was ordering and just to, you know, you got to do that ahead of time. You just got to go through and make your list and check it twice. And Okay, so which is be crazy for pistachio is birthday cake, pecan waffle, sugar cookie, sugar cookie dough, a pinch of cinnamon spice vanilla blended with pistachio ice cream and notes of pistachio dream cake. I love pistachio. Oh, this is good. Oh, now in my order, I did purchase quite a few that are wild cards for me. But let's talk about this one. Oh my. This is beautiful. Oh, this smells so good. It's sweet. It's bakery. Oh my gosh. The pistachio in here is perfect it's a perfect pistachio scent it's not too cherry and it's not too nutty oh my goodness this is such a beautiful blend I'm glad I bought this I know I bought it um It's, there's vanilla here. That birthday cake is so, oh my gosh. The, I'm trying to see if I see the pecan waffles in here. It's all here. And it's all really, really good. Okay. The next one is, I'll bring this to work and melt this in my office. Drive everyone crazy, they'll all be hungry. The next one is Kiss Me Goodnight. 
I don't know if I bought this one, to be honest with you. I don't, I don't remember. Not sure. So let me see. Here's the list. I, yeah, I did buy it. Um, this is Cozy Cashmere Blankets. Warm, slightly woody notes mixed with vanilla, hints of plums, and hot tea in warm amber. Oh, that's nice. This reminds me of something. Mm. This is very, um, I'd say this is like a, well, let me take it out to make sure before I, I want to say off the first sniff there off the top. It's like body care. Come on, pop out. These things are hard to get out of here. There we go. Okay, I, I get like, n not in a bad way, I hate using this word, but like, you know, soap, body soap, body wash. It's just really super pretty. It's warm, perfumey, feminine, not floral. Get a little bit of the vanilla in there. The cashmere is very soft. It's not a heavy cashmere scent. This is just, this is really, really pretty. Really pretty. Okay, I'm glad I got that one too. Okay. All right, so I'm gonna start with my one and only loaf I purchased. Um, I am a huge Game of Thrones fan. I love the Game of Thrones. And now I know she does, she has done in the past, she had a big, like, whole, like, scent profile collection all named after the Game of Thrones. So the only one that was in here was Jon Snow. So I grabbed the loaf. Even though there's mint in here, I still got the loaf. And if she ever offered every scent again, I would buy them all in loaves just because. Okay, so Jon Snow is, I'm going to read it off here because these scent notes are very tiny, is Palo Santo, flannel sheets, creamy vanilla, and mint. Not that I don't like mint. I'm just cautious with mint. But I don't care. I can smell it already. Look how beautiful. Mm. Jon Snow. Who was your favorite character? If you're a Game of Thrones fan, who was your favorite character in Game of Thrones? This is nice. Yes, there's mint, but it's not mint like in your face. Here's some peppermint for you. It's not, oh, this is nice. Oh, my God. Really? The Palo Santo in here is just, it's beautiful. There's a smokiness here, but it's not overly smoky. The vanilla is actually calming down that mint. It's making the mint more, you know, down here, and it just smells like it's cool, yet warm and there's like there's a cleanliness to it yeah it's not how i picture john snow to smell i mean if you saw the game of thrones i don't think they all i don't think any of them smelled really good but oh my gosh you guys i'm so happy i feel like i could cry <laughs> so stupid anyway my favorite character in the game of thrones was um Tyrion. I loved him. He was just, he was the boss. He made that show. I don't know the actor's name, but he made the show. You guys, this is beautiful. Jon Snow is beautiful. In real life, he's beautiful too, but 
the scent. Definitely a beautiful winter scent, too. I mean, you can't... I hope one day to be able to have access and order all the Game of Thrones blends. And House of Dragon, too, because I think she's pulled a few of those, too. Okay. From there, I'm going to go to the souffles I bought. Now, I bought souffles. These were my last-minute add-ons when we did our live um, chat for the Teddy Bees pre-order. We went through the whole set list. You know, what's everybody buying? Is anybody buying this? So the souffles are things that I added on by all those ladies who enabled me. And they forced me to do it. They really did. Anyway. So we're going to start with Morning Cup of Christmas. All right. So now, Morning Cup of Christmas is a vanilla chai cranberry chutney, apple marmalade with a hint of fresh pine. Now, you all know me by now. I don't care for, not that I don't care for trees. I cannot find a blend of a tree that isn't all tree. I don't mind tree to kind of accentuate and enhance a scent. But when all I get is just tree, I just, I just, I don't care for it. So I trusted in my wax enabler friends, and you know who you are. And I trusted that knowing that Tiff, this is, by the way, this is like my first really big order from Petty Bees. I only placed my very first order with her back in, when was that last pre-order? It was like June. And I didn't buy very much because I just, I didn't know. I didn't know what to buy. But I've learned that she blends things so well that there's a good chance that I'm going to like it. So, morning cup of Christmas. Ooh, smell it already. I smell the chai. And the cranberry. Oh, I'm not getting no pine. This is pretty. This, oh, I like this one a lot. Very Christmassy. It reminds me of, um, like a cranberry cider. This is gorgeous. Wow. You do get a little bit of that chai, those that sweet chai. But the cranberry and the apple here is beautiful. And if there's a hint of pine in here, then it's doing what I like tree notes to do. And that is just to make that scent pop. This is gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. Oh, I love this. You get that Christmas feeling that, again, I go back to those, those stores and those, when it's Christmas time, they, they almost like they infuse that scent in those boutiques and those country wooded country stores that's what I'm getting in here this is this is gorgeous I'm also getting just a hint of uh, tis the season this is beautiful I'm so glad I got that whether I would get a tub of this I don't know because she her RTS is next week on Saturday Oh my God, not next week. I cannot believe Thanksgiving is Thursday. Um, It's this Saturday is her um, ready to ship. I will put the dates and time in the description box and I'll also flash it up here on the screen. But it is Saturday the 25th. I'm just unsure of the time. Okay. 
This one here is Nutcracker Sweets. Did I show you that other wax? I don't even know. I'm so excited. All right, so Nutcracker Sweet is... Sugary shortbread cookies, yellow cake, brown sugar, and cinnamon butter. I'm wondering why this was an add-on. This sounds like something I'd like anyway. Oh. Definitely get the cinnamon butter. That smells amazing. And the shortbread cookies are just nice. It's that nice... um. Because a shortbread cookie isn't very sweet. It's just a little bit sweet. So you're getting this. I'm just fixing the rim on this so I can try to pop it out. So you're getting a little bit of a sweetness from the shortbread cookie, but not overly done. And the yellow cake is very soft, but the brown sugar and cinnamon butter, to me, are taking center stage. And it's to die for. I, it, so good. I wonder if there'll be any that I don't like. Okay, come on. Just trying to gently pop this out. It's kind of stuck to the to the rim a little bit. I think I got it. That may have released it. Yep. Definitely. I'm picking up brown sugar and cinnamon butter and the shortbread. I think the yellow cake might be just adding a little bit of um, more of a creaminess to it. Like creaming it up a little bit. Oh, and so beautiful. Look at the... Got to show the glitter. Oh, that's going to look so pretty when it melts. Yes, this is... Mm, I might go in for a tub of this. I wasn't going to do the RTS. I said, look at, I did the Hunger Games last go around and it was my first time. I, uh, that gave me anxiety. I felt like when I was done, I felt like I needed a shot of whiskey. I mean, it was, it was intense. So I said I wasn't going to do the RTS Unless the only thing I was going to go in for was if she had any new blends she was going to throw out there and anything left over from the last pre-order that looked interesting. I says, I'll run in for that, grab and go, and not worry about any of this stuff. And that's another reason I bought a lot, too, because I thought I didn't want to have to deal with the ready to ship, the Hunger Games. That, that was... So... But this one, this one might be a tub. Did anybody get the scent? And I'm very excited now because I tried holding off watching a lot of people's videos. I watched a couple. Um, in fact, I think I maybe, I think I watched three. I think I watched three because I didn't want to spoil it. So I tried to like, you know, but I wanted to see a little bit. So now I'm excited because now I get to go back and watch and see what everybody got. But that Nutcracker Sweet, if you like cinnamon and brown sugar and buttery notes, that one's good. And I like how the shortbread cookie is just adding that little bit of, um, uh, I don't want to use the word bread, but making it more solid. Like, because brown sugar, think about brown sugar, cinnamon, and butter. That's like a liquid. And to me, the sugar cookie brings it, like, together, binds it. That's what it is. It's binding it. Okay. This next one is called Holiday. Now, Holiday is... The scent of wreaths hanging... Cookies baking, winter garland, and warm fireplace. Let's see how we do with this one. Fingers crossed. Okay, again, the tree is not big tree. It's just 
soft and doesn't have that sharpness to it. Oh, uh, let me see. I'm gonna. <sighs> Thank you. This one might be a little too woodsy for me, but let's see. And I say woodsy in the mean, meaning trees, because I do like woodsy. I just don't like that pine, that sharp. It's not sharp by any means. It's sweet. You can get the sweetness there from the cookies, okay? I am picking that up. And the warm fireplace is helping this. I, I like this. A souffle is plenty. Um, Yeah, this isn't like where I would melt it and be like, I gotta stop because, you know, it's just too much. It's not, it's not that kind of tree. It's more just like... An essence of holiday. Yep, that's what it's called. Holiday. Yes, that's what I'm picking up from this. I, I could, I, I could, yeah, this is okay. Would it, would I repurchase it? Probably not. Will I melt it? Absolutely. I think it, I think it'll melt beautifully. Um, I will melt it. I will probably enjoy it. Um, However, I did tell myself that I am going to hold all my teddy bees for a year. Um, I may do some of her sensual blends, um, bathroom blend type scents sooner because they're smaller areas. Um, but where I really want scent throw and big scent, I'm going to hold those types of um, smells for a year because a lot of people are telling me the year is like magic okay but this one here yes holiday is beautiful <coughs> the wreath and the winter garland is very um, soft subtle not harsh and the warm fireplace is really really special here it's the more I smell it the more I'm smelling the fireplace and it's it's really super nice yeah okay okay this next one here is called wish a witch woods <coughs> excuse me that sinus infection is still hanging on a bit. Okay. Wish a witch, wish a witch woods. That is really hard to say. It is fireside marshmallows, buttery sugar cookies, bonfire ember, embers, and Palo Santo. That's pretty. This is pretty. It's a little light. Now in the bag, in the bag I'm picking up the Bonfire Embers and the Palo Santo. Uh, let me pop it. Okay. Oh, let me show you the Beautiful colors. Look at the shift. I love those chameleon glitters that change color with the, yeah, those are pretty. Looks great on nails too. This is, I, I like this. Let's see. <coughs> Come on, you. Oh. This is nice. This is, it's smoky. I get a lot of the um, the embers here. The bonfire embers. 
but I like it. It's nice. The butter sugar cookies and the fireside marshmallows, it's not overly done. So this isn't overly sweet. It's a nice, smoky, um, I'll do this. <laughs> it's a nice, smoky um, scent. It's very smoky, um, but not overly smoky. It's, it's perfect. It's, if you want a smoky scent, <clears throat> the fireside marshmallows and the buttery sugar cookies are making it where it's not super smoky and fiery burnt smell it but it's it's nice um ah, that's nice you know the more i keep smelling it it's picking up a little bit of a perfume note but that's pretty I like this. See? Hmm. It's like, do I want more of that? Like, what if this isn't around next year and um, I can't get it again and, and I fall in love with it when I melt it? I don't know. Struggle is real. You know? It's, it's real. And I don't go for loaves. And the reason I don't go for loaves generally is because for me it's too much wax the tubs are perfect this is nice when I'm not sure um and I like the tubs because I like them for storage really to be honest with you I like them for storing okay this next one is called fall into Christmas okay and her labels are beautiful Really? Yeah, I didn't even point that out. All right. I think I was the one I, I did watch a video today. Um, two Quick Wicks. I think her name's Brittany, right? She actually drew my attention to that. The labels. I thought, oh, so I never really even. Yeah, the labels are really nice. She kind of fashions the label after the scent or the name of the you know, of the scent. So yeah, it's it's nice. I, I do, she's got very nice labels. Okay. I like that she put some thought into that. All right, fall into Christmas. I know it's going to be a yellow one because those are the ones I, fall into Christmas is vanilla pumpkin, buttered rum eggnog, and butter cookies. Okay, this is nice. Let's see. Get that vanilla in here. Buttered rum, rum eggnog, and butter cookies. Okay. You know... I'm thinking I probably should have unpacked this a while ago and let this wax warm up a little bit because it actually still feels a little cold. I mean, it was only like 30, it was like 36 today. Yeah, so it was a little cold and rainy. And um, so this is actually still a little bit chilly. When I'm to touch, I could still feel it. My hands are cold from touching it. Yes. The buttered rum eggnog. That's pretty. You get that sweet rum and it's warm. That is really nice. And the vanilla pumpkin. Yeah, okay, let's see. Come on, you. Okay, where are you hanging up at here? Okay. 
some of those buttery cookies. Those are nice. I really like this buttered rum eggnog. It's this creamy, you got that creamy vanilla eggnog with that custardy. And then that rum there is so, it's not overly done. It's not boozy at all, but it's there's the hint of it there and it's really good. This is good. I don't need more than a souffle though, because I do have some eggnog scents, so we don't need to have, you know, eight pounds of eggnog. Okay, my nose is getting itchy now. Okay, this was a huge wild card. I mean huge. That's blueberry dump cake. And I'll tell you why. I'm not a fan of blueberry at all. And when we were talking on our live chat that we did, um, one of the ladies, I'm not sure which one, but they said her blueberries are just wonderful, you know. And again, thinking about who is actually making this wax, it's Tiffany, and she does have a way of blending things that makes anything smell good. It's like, you know, she could probably take dirty socks and make dirty socks smell good. So I took a chance. I says, all right, you know what? I'm going to try it because it's the, the scent notes are fresh blueberries, crispy cake topping, hints of warm spice, and vanilla. So maybe if you had a little blueberry to that, it just, so let's see. It's a little blueberry. But I am picking up the other scent notes. You know, it's not, the blueberry isn't, you know, screaming out and saying, you know, me, 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 me. I, there's the other scent notes, they're, they're there. You get that warm spice in the vanilla and the cake. Yeah, it, mm, again, this has nothing to do with the vendor. That's all about me because I'm not crazy about blueberry. I just thought, let me try it because maybe I will like Tiffany's blueberry, right? Um, I'm not a fan. It's okay. It's, it's beautifully done. I'm going to say that. It's absolutely beautifully done. Yeah. But I, there's, yeah, the blueberries there. What else? The crispy cake topping. Yeah. Okay. That was blueberry dump cake. Um... It's not something that is for me. All right. Smoked ginger snaps. Okay, smoked ginger snaps is warm gingerbread spice, cardamom, charred wood, roasted pumpkin, and Tahitian vanilla. one got beat up pretty bad. You poor thing. Okay. This is nice. Um, show you the wax. Beautiful. This is very spicy. And again, this is in a souffle and checked off in yellow here because it wasn't on my original, you know, purchase list of what I was going to get. This came after the fact, after discussing and talking and, um, 
not a huge gingerbread fan. I don't dislike it. I've re since received a few gingerbread type scents I'm from other vendors and I, I was pleasantly surprised and pleased and happy with them. Uh, this one here, I like it. Um, it won't be something I would repurchase and it wouldn't be something I would go in for the RTS on. This is, I think if it had a little more bakery to it, for me, this is just spice. Um, not horrible by any means. It's, it's good. It's, it's very spicy. Um, yeah. Roasted pumpkin. Charred wood. Yeah, okay. Yeah, I think this would have, for me, this would have been a little more to my liking if it had a little bit more bakery to it. Basically, I'm getting spicy wood. Not horrible. I will melt it gladly, and I will probably enjoy it very much as it's melting. It's just not something I need a lot of. Um, it's a lot already. So that's smoked ginger snaps. Okay. Next one is, we have two souffles left. And then I think we got 29 tubs. I'm um, at the half hour mark. Okay, Witches Be Crazy for eggnog. I've heard a lot about Witches Be Crazy. I think Ashley said she loves, I think she said this is her very favorite. Witches Be Crazy for eggnog. This is birthday cake. Pecan waffles, cookie dough, a pinch of, of cinnamon spiced vanilla blended with both vanilla eggnog and buttered rum eggnog. Now, I think the reason this is in a souffle, because it was my add-on to my original order here of my tubs. Oh, except one of them. I got a little note on here. Um, I forgot where I was going with that. Oh, because I thought to myself, well, I've already got Witches Be Crazy this, and I already have an egg now. Do I need another one? And I think I was just kind of like, when all the girls were talking, it was like, oh, all right, I'm going to throw it in. So this is Witches Be Crazy for eggnog, and I'm sure I'm going to like it. I'm not even doubting. I could smell it already. The sun is popping out of this bag. I can't see when it was poured. This is really good. This is good. Oh, that is really, really good. Oh, you guys. Who was that other one? Was it Fallen to Christmas? This is the eggnog. This is the vanilla pumpkin buttered rum. Eggnog and butter cookies. <sighs> the eggnog in here is making that witches be crazy. Oh, he goes. <sighs> so good. The birthday cake and the pecan waffles and the sugar cookie dough. Wow. It is so, this is beautiful. Did I show you? Okay. Oh my God. Okay, this is just, yeah. This is creamy and there's this beautiful spice in here. You pick up a little hint of the rum and the creamy eggnog with, you know, the, oh my God. 
that vanilla is just so creamy and smooth. Really get the pecan waffles and it's delicious. You know, Teddy is, Teddy Bees is like so good. Everything that I smell that she does, it's like, oh. Okay. Cider cookies. Let's get to cider cookies. That's this one here. Love cider. Not sure why I was talked into this one. <laughs> May have just been because. Okay, apples, cake, donut, cinnamon, caramel, and sugar cookies. I think this is going to smell like just an amazing cake. I know it's just cake donut, but I'm just thinking of sweet, delicious cake. Oh, more apple cidery than I thought. Get that cake donut. Cinnamony. Let's see. It's warm. It's a nice warm scent. And the apples are a cooked apple. <coughs> it's a baked apple. Now, I think I'm picking up the caramel on the bottom. And it's almost a little bit, and I know, and I could tell right now it's the caramel. I don't think I'm crazy about the caramel in here. It's throwing it off for me. I like it when I smell it here on the top. It's a, just a yummy, apple-y, cakey, um sweet but the caramel for me the caramel is throwing this one off um yeah I don't think I would this I will melt it and I'm sure it'll be fine and yummy and, but not the uh, the caramel's throwing for me the caramel's throwing it off but it's a beautiful baked apple Yeah, it's good. I just want to see if I got glitter on me. <laughs> Who cares? All right. Yeah, I'm not crazy about the caramel note in there. Yeah. It's all right. It's fine because we don't need to love everything. All right, so let's start with this tower first. And it's Witches Be Crazy for Pistachio. And I am so glad I got this in a tub. Yes. This is so good. So good. Oh, my God. Right now? Oh, I can't pick a favorite. I'm not going to. Oh, where is it? This is going to be in pink because I always, yeah, here it is. Birthday cake. Well, I know I gave you the set notes, but I'll go do them again in case you forgot. Birthday cake, pecan waffles, sugar cookie dough, a pinch of cinnamon spiced vanilla blended with pistachio ice cream and notes of pistachio dream cake. It's heavenly. Guys, it's it's a bakery lover's dream. It's a pistachio lover's dream. Uh, this is this is a beautiful pistachio blend, and it's beautiful. Oh my gosh!
I like both pistachios. I like pistachio that smells like cherries and almonds. I like pistachio that smells just like cherries. And I like pistachio that smells just like a pistachio nut. Get all of this here. All of it. In the perfect, it's just, it's a perfect pistachio scent. I mean, it's, you're getting a little of everything here with the pistachio family scent. And you do, you pick up them, the, the pecan waffles. Oh my gosh. There's a little cinnamon in here. The vanilla is creamy and the ice cream. So you get that creamy ice cream, pistachio ice cream and the, those pecan waffles are just. This is amazing. Okay. This is... Yeah. If I didn't have a lot of wax already, I would probably try to snag a loaf of this. I don't need a loaf. This is plenty. And it's good. Oh, I was very interesting, uh, interested to know what this one was going to smell like. And this one's called Miraxis. Uh, it is sweet plum, saffron, black peppercorns, cashmere cream, and roasted pine cones. This just sounded really like something special. Saffron. Right? Look how beautiful. You see that? Oh, I could smell it. It's roasty, spicy. Oh. Okay. How could I describe this scent? Give me a minute here. It's spicy, but not man spicy, not bakery spicy. It's a kind of it's woodsy down here. Picking up woods. I bet you them probably the roasted pine cones. Because there is, there's a woody note here. Mmm. Okay. So we got the woody notes. The plum is very subtle. It's soft. It's black peppercorns. Is, yes, that's where that's... It's the black peppercorns and saffron. It's spicy, like spice. This is a nice winter scent. And I wouldn't necessarily put this as like a bedroom scent either because those roasted pine cones, this is woody. This is something that's going to melt beautifully if you have a fireplace in your home. You got the fireplace going. It's cold outside. This is, yeah. And they, like I said, that sweet plum is very, it's soft. Oh, here we go. You know, I, I get all this wax. It goes right down the shirt, and then I end up with wax everywhere. Yeah. This is really really nice okay and so now the cashmere cream that's where I'm picking up a slight perfumey note here but it's it's really a woodsy scent a woodsy scent 
The cashmere cream is there. You get that this little bit of the sweetness from the the cashmere. But it's mostly to me it's spicy, woodsy with a little sweetness and delicateness to it. Beautiful winter blend. Beautiful for winter. Get yourself a fire going. A little hot toddy. On a snowy night. Mmm. Beautiful. Okay. The Christmas trees and cream that everybody talks about. And I have got all my hopes put onto this that this is going to be the tree scent for me to melt in my home at Christmas time. Christmas trees and cream is fresh pine boughs, vanilla sugar waffle cone, and rich vanilla sugar, rich vanilla buttercream. Yeah, keep it to an hour. I'm already at 50 minutes. Okay. Absolutely beautiful. I don't know why, but I thought this would be green. Like a minty green. <laughs> I know you're all sitting there thinking, does she like it? She's always bitching about those trees. <laughs> Let's see. I'm going to get a full sniff out of it before I make any comments. Okay. Um, I think I like it. It's not sharp. It doesn't have that sharp tree. Just kind of like that morning cup of Christmas. Was that the one I was talking about? You really get that buttercream in the cookies. You could smell the buttercream and cookies. And it's taking that sharpness off the tree. But yet, yeah, it gives you that feeling you have a real Christmas tree in your home and you've got things baking in the house, but that Christmas tree's off in the other room kind of wafting through. Okay, this is nice. And this is something I would very much like to melt. Like the week of Christmas, Christmas week. In a little after just to yeah this is yeah this is pretty this is very pretty do I need another tub tell me tell me if I need another tub I like it I do I'm glad I bought it I'm glad it was so highly suggested perfect Okay, this one here, Salty Lavender. Okay, I know that Summer Michelle is insane for this scent. Um, a lot of the girls are. Um, I like lavender as well. This one here really, really piqued my interest because I believe it was in an RTS. And it was like gone in a flash. Am I mistaken? Yeah. And it was gone. And so I did pick it up in the pre-order. And I'm looking for the scent notes. Sweet lavender, salty sea air, and toasted marshmallow. Now, I love salty sea air and I love toasted marshmallow. The lavender only has to make it better, especially if it's a sweet lavender. 
and it is stunningly beautiful. Put that in your warmers and watch it melt. You see all the little sparkles. This is pretty. This is very pretty. Okay. I could see why people grab this one quickly. And they probably will again in this RTS. Very pretty. There's, It's very strong on the lavender. I'm not going to lie, but it's not super, super herbal lavender. It's, it's, it's a little on the sweeter side. More floral. I'm getting a lot of the lavender on the bottom. On the top, I get more of the salty sea air and the marshmallow. It's very pretty. It'll go beautiful in, this will be a bathroom scent for me, bedroom. Very pretty. Oh, that's good. Um, this is plenty for me. I do have other lavender scents, so again, I don't need 50 million different lavenders. I have some that I really love and I enjoy, and I will continue with that. And this will be added to it as one that I will love and enjoy as well. But I don't need a stockpile of it. I'm trying to turn over a new leaf here and be a little bit, you know... This one still has a little wormy attached to it. Okay, so this one here is uh, The Perfect Storm. And The Perfect Storm is sea spray, ocean water, citrus, damp leaves, dark amber, and oak moss. It's gorgeous. It's kind of stormy looking, right? Can I let this breathe a minute? Um... I like these kind of scents um, because I'm not a laundry person, so I do like to have fresh scents that are beautiful and unique and to replace that That because I, I don't like laundry. So to me, something like The Perfect Storm would be a nice scent to replace a laundry. Oh, that kind of reminds me of a beach. Oh, let's see, let me tip it out. Yeah, this is nice. But I do want it to come out first so I can get a better sniff on it. Well, this one is not releasing very easily for me. Come on, you. There we go. God, they look how beautiful that is. This reminds me of vacation. I like this. Ooh, pretty in the bottoms, glitters. Yes. Get that salty sea air is so nice. Damp leaves. Do I smell damp leaves here? Yes, you're getting a yes. There is a damp leaf smell. Amber and oak moss. Salty sea air or sea spray. Ocean water. Definitely get the ocean water. That's the first thing when I opened it. I, it smelled like the ocean. This is nice. This is going to be beautiful in the summer. Now, at least I'll be able to warm because this is going to sit long enough. I do. I like this. Yeah, those damp leaves are there. It's very, um, you get the mixture of the ocean and the earth, right? Water and earth. Because it's earthy, but it's oceanic and, and aquatic at the same time. So the oak moss and the damp leaves bring gives it that earthy note. Whereas the the sea spray and ocean water and the citrus is gives it the airy note. So I, yeah, it's a it's a nice it's a yin and yang of scent. 
This is pretty. I'm, I'm excited to warm that. I really am. I don't know. It's poor 1020. Am I reading that right? I wonder if she made a mistake on the label. Hold up. I'm thinking this might be a mistake on the label printing because this says 10 20 22. It has to be 23. Um, if anybody else has the perfect storm, check your label, see if yours says 22 as well. This way I could just make it a, just uh, this way I can make the correction on here, but I am certain this is 23 and it's just a misprint. Okay, this is Catacomb of the Witch. Catacomb of the Witch is dark plums, rich vanilla, black amber, amber, bonfire bliss, and vanilla woods. Mmm, like bonfire bliss, vanilla woods, and plums. I like plum. That is absolutely gorgeous. Oh, this is pretty. This smells like perfume or oh, body care. Yeah, the amber is very um, prominent here. As is the Bonfire Bliss on my that first whiff. Yes, Bonfire Bliss. A lot of the Bonfire here. Which I like because I love, I love Bonfire scents. Me Amber. Amber is strong. So it's very, um, yeah, this is a bedroom bathroom scent for me. Um, I have a feeling this is going to be a strong scent. It's woody. Yeah. I do like it. Kind of reminds me a little bit of that other one I smelled. I don't remember which one it was now. I don't know. This, it had woody, woody notes in it. Was that Marax's? I don't remember. It's good. I do. I like this. I think this is going to be a strong wax. So I think it's too much of it. It might give you a headache. Maybe. I don't know. Um, yes. I'm not picking up a lot of plum. I'm more picking up the most is the vanilla woods, the bonfire bliss in that black amber. Yeah, that's what I'm grabbing from it. I like it. It's beautiful. And you know what? It still needs to cure a bit, right? I mean, it's only been poured since this one was poured 929. So, yeah, I think after some cure time, especially with the vanilla, <clears throat> to let that vanilla come out a little bit to soften it. But this is pretty. If you like woody, smoky woody, um, perfume, maybe because the amber's giving it a little bit of a perfume note. Next one, Carter, and this is beautiful. Carter is, oh, where are you, Carter? It is Smoky Woods, Campfire Marshmallows, White Birch, Palo Santo, Icy Snow, and Vanilla. Sounds good. And it's beautiful. This is gorgeous. I did not expect that smell when I when I opened this. I don't know why. I just didn't. Campfire marshmallows. So the marshmallows here are so sweet. Mm. 
the Palo Santo is like, oh gosh, this is smoky, sexy. Man, my boyfriend's calling and I told him I would stop recording and answer the phone for him. I'm going to be right back. Sorry about the interruption. Okay. We were talking about Carter. You guys. This one here. Oh, jeez. The more I'm smelling it, I'm almost... I'm picking up a eucalyptus note here. A eucalyptus... Or a menthol there's absolutely I mm, I would have to say there's a eucalyptus menthol note but the smoky woods in this campfire marshmallows and the Palo Santo really like this this to me Mm. It's, yeah, the more I smell it, the colder it's getting. So if you could picture marshmallows, the campfire in Palo Santo. In smoky woods. <laughs> I'm just saying. This icy snow and vanilla. So it's like a vanilla ice. Wow, it's cold. It very cold. It's bizarre. Like I, I feel like it's making me cold. But it's good. It's really good. I think it's eucalyptus. That smells like eucalyptus to me. I can't wait to watch more videos. You know, and even though I watched the videos, I kind of like paid attention, didn't pay attention because I didn't want to, so I might have to rewatch the three that I did watch. This is, I like this one. It has a vibe to it. A, manly but not rugged outdoors manly just manly clean very clean there's that sweetness the marshmallows with them smoky notes in this cool eucalyptus smell that I'm smelling with the vanilla this is really good I really like this one very much. I will not go back and buy more. I don't need more. But I like it. Let's just say if it came around again next year or maybe in the summertime, whatever she does, like, she does one towards the summer, right? If it came back there, I would buy it because I'll plan on melting this next winter. That way that one has a year to cure. I'm thinking. That's what my mind is thinking. And I did take the opportunity while I was off camera when I took my call to kind of sort things out of what I'm really really liking okay let's yeah I apologize I told you to grab a drink and a snack I should have told you to grab a cup of coffee and dinner because you need a meal we're going to do our next stack and I'm going to try to speed up. It's hard to speed up. I, I want to talk about it. And I'm going to tell what I can tell without, you know, I don't know. This next one here is Dream State. Dream State is sweet lavender, pink sugar, and vanilla marshmallow cream. Which is why I said I loved salty lavender, but I don't need more. Because I have lavender blends that I do like as well. Now I've got this one. You, I only need so much. All right, so Dream State. Sweet Lavender, Pink Sugar, 
vanilla marshmallow cream. Oh my God, that is so pretty. Right? It's like a party. Oh, this is pretty. This is more perfumey. Yes, I would say this is more perfumey. It's probably the pink sugar. Whereas the salty lavender is something that's more zen, relaxation, um, spa-like. This is more like a perfume. So it's a little heavier. I'm going to pop it out. Got to pop them out. Because there's more scent down below. I'm having a hard time with these. There it goes. Yeah, I'm picking up a lot more lavender. To me, this is a more lavender heavy. And the pink sugar's there, definitely there. It's very perfumey. I think I like the salty lavender better than this one. This is a little heavy on the perfume. Um, I feel like I can get a headache with this. Um, I will probably do this super, super light in my bathroom. This isn't something I'd want in my bedroom. It's too much. It's, it's, yeah. It's heavy. It needs, for me, I think if it had a little more vanilla marshmallow cream. Yeah, this is, this one's heavy. Okay. Oh, wow. It's another one. Okay. Sorry. This next one here is Pumpkin Woods. And Pumpkin Woods is Pumpkin Spice, Sandalwood, Patchouli, Tobacco, Palo Santo, and Cold Winter Woods. That's a lot. Love tobacco. I love it. I like patchouli. I don't like the dirty kind of patchouli, but I like patchouli. Especially when it's blended, you know, just so. Um... Sandalwood. Sandalwood's beautiful, right? I mean, sandalwood is just sweet and smooth and soft. And I'm just kind of letting it air up a little bit. I'm going to pop it so that it's ready. Okay. Let me show you. Very pretty. This is nice. This is very, um, The patchouli and tobacco are beautiful in here. The sandalwood is sweetening up a bit. I'm not getting too much pumpkin spice. Let me start on the top. I'm getting a lot of patchouli, tobacco, and palo. This is, I like this very much. But again, this is a scent I will go easy with. Um, this could overtake, you know, you wouldn't want uh, a ton of this in the house. It would be too much. It's hefty. It's heady. But beautiful. Beautifully blended. The tobacco, I'd say the, the top notes I'm getting here are the tobacco and the patchouli. Um, gotta go easy with this one, guys. Real easy. If you like patchouli and tobacco, you would like this. This will be bedroom, bathroom for me. And I will go easy on it. I won't do a lot. This will be a set I want to walk in the room 
and have it just be present, but not like walk in the room and go, oh my God, it smells so good in here. Not like, you know, sometimes I want my scents to, you know, hit me in the face and be like, really like, bam. This one I want to walk in and <clears throat> know it's in there, but not like come at me because I think it would be too much. This is a heavy scent, and it's pretty. And the more I'm sitting here smelling it, the prettier it gets. It's patchouli in tobacco. It's a beautiful tobacco. Okay, so cold winter woods. Now hold up. That could be the patchouli. I was going to say, I, do pick, I, I am picking up like that menthol-y camphor eucalyptus, but I'm thinking that's the patchouli. A man would like this scent. This would be something that a man would enjoy in his room or his den or his man cave. It says pumpkin spice, but Am I getting any nutmeg or cinnamon? There's so much spice here, it's hard to tell. I am getting like a, that menthol-y minty note. It's like almost as it sits more as it sits open, the more it comes out. This is nice. This is great for the man cave. Yeah. For me, really light in my bedroom, light in my bathroom. That's where this is going. So do I need more? No, this is a whole lot of wax for those two small rooms. I do like it. It's unique, it's different. That's gonna go there. All right. Mr. Claus. What does Mr. Claus smell like? Ooh. Cranberry Woods Bath and Body Works type. Frosted Circus Sugar Cookies in Palo Santo. That's interesting. Cranberry Woods. I like Cranberry Woods. Okay, let's check you out, Mr. Claus. Okay, this one's ready to pop out. Let me show you the wax. Absolutely beautiful. I like the mica. The mica looks pretty when it's melting. Oh. Okay. Oh, this is very nice. I like this. This cranberry scent is beautiful in here. This is really good. What an interesting scent. Like it's the, with the Palo Santo and Cranberry Woods in Frosted Sugar Cookies or Circus Sugar Cookies. Yes, you do. You get those Frosted Cookies in there, but those that Cranberry Woods is really what jumped out at me first. The Palo Santo in here is light. It's lightly done. It just gives it just a little bit of a smokiness to it. This is, ex I, I get excited when I get like scents that are just like different and unique and they come together so well. This is really good. I really like the cranberry woods in here. This is this is fun. This is a fun scent. Um, I'm not even sure where, like how I would, you know. That's, yeah. This would be your whole house scent. Maybe not so much your bedroom. This is this is fun. The cranberry woods to me is is the 
star. It's very, there's a sweet cranberry here. Nice and sweet. And we get these woody notes from the Palo Santo and the, the woods that are in the cranberry woods. And those frosted sugar cookies are just like, yeah, that's interesting. Okay, that one's a good one. Mr. Claus, he's fun. He's a fun one. Okay. All right, these are cookies for Santa. What is it, cookies for Santa? It is a blend of frosted sugar cookies and milk and cookies. Oh, sorry. Yeah, I can't find me frosted sugar cookies. Hmm. Okay, let me. Release the wax. All right. Just trying to see what I'm smelling here. Right now, I'm just smelling kind of just sweet. I should have unboxed this sooner. Um, like I said, it's a little cold. And. Oh, my goodness. This does not want to release. What are you stuck on? Come on. My goodness. This doesn't want to come out. It's like half out. There we go. Okay, this is nice. See, I smell it more when I take it out. It, yeah. Oh, the milk and cookies. Mm. I'm smelling more milk and cookies than I am frosted sugar cookies. It's creamy. This is really good. This is, this is good. I like this one a lot. This one's a good one. Um. Oh, it's just, it's just yummy. There's, I feel like there's a little bit of a cinnamon note here. Ever so slightly, just real slight. That milk and cookies is something else. Oh, wow, that's good. Okay, let me smell from the top again. Oh, this is a beautiful, beautiful cookie blend. It's just that sweet, sugary cookie dough. With the milk making it creamy and yummy and, oh, this is, ah. Oh. Cookies for Santa is amazing. Amazing. Okay. Browned butter and praline. Now this one I did see. There's a lot of talk on the Facebook page that people were like thinking there's there something wrong with this blend. And Tiffany says, absolutely not. You have to warm it. She said, because it, it I guess it totally transforms. So, Brown butter and praline it is a blend of praline candy, vanilla cream, toasted pecans, melted butter, and the slightest warmth of cinnamon in the background. But everybody was saying it was smelled like citrus or I don't know. But I'm going to trust what the girl who made the wax says. And I can see what people are saying. Wow, it does. It smells like um, soap or something. 
but no matter if Tiffany says you have to warm it and it completely changes, then I believe her because she wouldn't put something out. This one is like, oh my goodness. I don't know if I can get this one out. This was poured 10, 20. Yeah, let's see. I really want to get it out because I want to smell the rest of it. I think I just felt a release a little bit. Um, yeah, this is a very, it's weird, it's almost a waxy smell or chemical or not chemical. It's weird. It's, a, it's an unusual scent, kind of like soap, soapy. Come on. Yeah, this one is, there we go. I heard it pop. There. Again, decorate it in the bottom. Yeah, that's, um, I could see why somebody brought that up and said, wow, is that what it's supposed to smell like? It's like, yeah, it's like soapy. You can smell nuts in there. Yeah, if you were to smell this, you'd be like, that doesn't smell good. But I am going to 100% trust that there's, this is going to smell absolutely fabulous. So I'm not worried. But note, if you haven't seen it on the Facebook page, um or in other videos possibly. I don't know if people are talking about it in their videos or not. Um, make a note to, your, note to yourself that don't expect this to smell delicious when you, when you open it, because it really doesn't. Um, takes Tiffany's suggestion and warm it before you decide. And that's exactly what I'm going to do. Um, because I'm so curious, and I know we're not supposed to warm this just yet because it's it's just just a month yesterday it's been poured. Now maybe take a little sliver. I could test it off in this room here, maybe. Because I'm curious, because it does, it smells weird. Okay, bakery inless. This one is brown sugar, caramel, powdered sugar bakery dough, sugared musk, and bottom notes of sweet woods. Sounds really interesting because we've got all these bakery notes and then all of a sudden we're throwing in sugared musk and sweet woods. Now, I don't know, would sweet woods be like sandalwood? It's beautiful. Okay. Um... That's 16 more, you guys. I'm sorry. Okay, um, this is light. Maybe it's just got to breathe a little bit. Um, but I'm finding it to be very light. So let's see. We're going to take it out. It might be a little denser on the bottom. Okay, this is a very interesting... Because you do, you do get the sugared musk. You pick, I'm picking up musk. Brown sugar. Did you get the brown sugar? There is woody, it is a, there is a woodiness to it. I don't know if I would call it a sandalwood, but there's a woodiness here. This one smells like dry to me. It smells real dry. Um, I think this is going to be something based on these scent notes. Brown sugar, caramel, 
musk, sweet woods. I feel like those notes need to be warmed to get a good feel on it. Um, I'm not saying that because, oh, I, or she must not like it. No, that's not it. It's, I'm not sure about it. I'm not sure. I think it's going to be like a, uh, a perfumey, a sweet perfumey, but sensually, sensual perfume, like a sensual perfume. That's what I'm picking up with that caramel and the brown sugar and the musk. It's very, it's a, they're sensual notes. And, you know, the bakery dough is kind of the wild card in here. So, yeah, I this is something that's going to be very nice to warm and see what it smells like warm. Because I think it's going to be a really nice, warm, sensual scent. Sweet. Sweet, warm, and sensual. Yeah, I kind of like that one. This one's going to be... I'm interested and excited to warm that. Okay. This one here is... Vanilla Balsam plus The Perfect Holiday. Which is, ah, that's it. Vanilla balsam and the perfect holiday. Well, I don't know what the perfect holiday is. Because I don't think I've ever smelled that. I know vanilla balsam, and it's a layered fragrance. All right. Oh, it's on the label it is fresh cut pine cinnamon sugar and toasted marshmallow layered with balsam fir frosted vanilla and snow capped pine needles <laughs> how in the world did I buy a tub of this I'll never know Probably because it's not on the sheet, those scent notes. It just says vanilla balsam and the perfect holiday. So in my mind, I'm thinking, well, I like vanilla balsam. That's not too bad. <laughs> you guys, I'm scared to open this one. I think this is going to be like, this is going to be the one that's screaming at me. It smells minty. Okay. The top don't smell too bad. It smells like cinnamon. Did I say there was cinnamon in here? Yeah, I did. With cinnamon sugar. Okay. It smells like red hot cinnamon to me. All right, so let's take... Let's see what the bottom smells like. Come on. All right. It's very pretty, though. My goodness, look at that. Oh, bottom's a little red glitter in it. That's some hefty tree. That's a hefty tree. Yeah. I like the top. Too much tree for me way too much tree for me holy cow wow the top is nice it's cinnamony I, yeah i can't go any further with that one guys i'm sorry way too much tree too much tree next tower Old Country Store. Old Country Store is... 
you know, I noticed this in the, I'm going to just take this way back because I got to find it. I noticed in the, um, RTS for me, I felt like it was very hard to navigate because she states it goes by the list that she posts, but that list is in an alphabetical order in my mind. I'm yeah. And then there'll be things. Then the new stuff was all at the bottom and I just wish it was in alphabetical order. I just, for me, that's easier. I don't know. Yeah, so I had a difficult time navigating that. So now I'm looking for Old Country Store on the list here, which is not in alphabetical order. So, basically, things were popping out at me really quickly, and now they're not. Okay, Old Country Store is Sweet, ugh, sweet Peach Preserves, Hot Apple Pies, Warm Cinnamon, and a Slight Hint of Pine. I don't mind hints. This was a gamble for me, and I bought a tub because it's peach. But I thought the hot apple pies and warm cinnamon might. Oh, I smell it already. I like the color. It's like that army green. That's a nice green. Really nice. I like this. I was just going to say it smells like a country store. That's the name of the wax. Okay, um, again, this one I'm having a hard time. Uh, yeah, it smells good from what I can smell right now. I smell hot apple pies and warm cinnamon. Yes, definitely. Um, am I getting pine? Maybe ever so slightly. On the top, I'm getting mostly hot apples, and I think that's... It's almost like a hot cinnamon to me. It says warm, but I'm getting like a hot cinnamon with the apple. Definitely a baked apple. Or cooked. It's not. No, baked. It's a baked apple. It's like you took an apple and cored it and put it in the oven. Not even for an apple pie, but just a baked apple. I cannot get this. Oh, I think I got it. There we go. So let's see if we get any peach on the bottom. I don't pick up peach. We have beautiful glitter down there though. Oh, and a chunk of wax. Okay, there's a little more peach. The peaches are on the bottom. Not screaming in your face peaches. It's very nice. It's, um, Beautifully done. It's a nice mix of peach and apple. The peach is a little fresher than the apple, like a little brighter. The apple, because it is baked, definitely baked. Um, so they have more of that cooked note, whereas the peach is a little brighter. And it doesn't smell like nasty peach. It's nice. Very spicy. Cinnamon heavy on this one. So if you're not a cinnamon fan, I don't know if you would like this one. This one's cinnamon heavy. I like it, and it does give me the old country store vibes. Absolutely. I'm not picking up any pine. It could be in there. Maybe that's just adding to the vibe. This one's nice. This is really, really nice. Um, this is a beautiful fall scent absolutely false scent I pick up this is like um the heart of October to me in uh, the harvest season this is this is really good okay let's just put this one aside um, put that there okay this one here is basic witch basic witch is... A new scent, it is a vanilla latte, whipped cream, I'm sorry, whipped coffee, roasted marshmallows, 
and pecan waffles and beach treats. This sounds amazing. I am very excited to open this. I love the color. So, oh God, it's wow. Will you see if you any of you guys got this one? Will you see it? Beautiful purple in that glitter is just stunning. You guys. Oh my God. You get these, the sweet marshmallows and pecan waffles. Oh, but the beach treats. Oh my God. This, and then you get this coffee note in here and it's creamy and fluffy and sweet. This is something I would want more of. The bottom, the bottom is really pulling the coffee note. Oh, and it's like a, it's like a brewed coffee. It's not like, um, no skunky note. It's funny, I keep bending over to smell because there's so much glitter and if I keep doing this, everything's falling. Oh, I, yeah. The marsh, it's creamy, so creamy. Oh, pecan waffles, I don't know. Them beach treats are there, though. That beach treats are there. And it is so good mixed with that coffee. Who got this? Tell me. Tell me you got this and tell me what you think if this is an amazing. I'm loving Basic Witch. Holy cow. I am Loving that. Okay. Sugared. Oh, good. I did get this one. Sugared chestnuts in apple butter. I heard Brittany talking about this on Two Quick Whips. Two Quick Whip Whips today. And I thought, oh, I hope I got that one. <laughs> All right. And it is apple butter, brown sugar, toasted chestnuts, clove, and notes of spice. This sounds like a nutty apple spicy buttery scent. Let's see. So let's try to, oh, look how beautiful it is. Oh. This one's already popped nice for me. I thought it's like one spot. Okay. This is pretty. Buttery. Oh, that's beautiful. It's very buttery, nutty. The chestnut is soft in here. It's not super crazy chestnut. It's just adding a... Well, chestnut is a... It's not a super nutty nut. <laughs> um, I know Melissa Johnson hate thinks they are so disgusting. Um, roasted chestnuts... They're, they have a sweetness to them, a unique sweetness. I, I like them, but they're not super nutty. So chestnut is a soft, chestnut is a soft buttery nut. Okay, so when you get a chestnut scent, you're not going to get, you know, like, um, almond or pistachio it's it's a creamy nutty scent kind of like when you think of cashew it's creamy 
Okay. This is pretty. I'm getting I'm getting a butter note in here, like um cinnamon butter. Even though it says apple butter, I'm getting cinnamon. Mm-hmm. The clove is very nicely done. It's very, it's very beautifully done. Again, I've told you my thoughts on clove. You can get a little too heavy with clove. You know, too much garlic ruins a dish and too much clove ruins. Kind of can ruin your sweets and your, your wax. Okay. This is right. You know what? This is up there. This is beautiful. This is delicious. Oh, the apple. It says apple butter. So it's it's not like uh, in your face apple. And it's very buttery. There's like a true butter note here. The brown sugar is like, um, it's like a cooked brown sugar. And the toasted chestnut is very soft, subtle, beautiful. Beautiful. It's giving just that very nice light nuttiness to it. And there's a spice there. Like um, some cinnamon. The clove is there, but it's soft. It's very soft. This is a buttery, sweet hint of nutty with subtle spices. Well, a little more than subtle, but they're not overly done. This is beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. That's it, yeah. Would this be a repurchase for me? Absolutely. It's a good one. But I'm already making my... I decided to make piles. Okay, this next one is Jax. Jax is wet autumn leaves, moss-covered oak trees, cedar wood, hinoki smoke lingering off in the distance. Yeah, wild card. But I went with the tub because the notes were so interesting and unique. I felt like, I bet you if I got the souffle, I'd be really, really pissed off that I didn't get a, low, um, a tub and try to get it. It'll probably be a fan favorite and you want to get it in the RTS and I'll lose it. So I went with the tub. Oh, this one is like matte glitters. Okay. What is that like? Matte glitter. Those like weeds. I don't know. Okay. This is smoky. All right. <laughs> this is smoky. That's the first thing I get is smoke. This smelled like something that's been burned. Uh, yeah, I'm not sure I'm going to be a fan of this one. It's a little bit smoky for my liking. It's not like that sweet smoke. It's smoke. Like, yeah. It's like, you know, you had a house fire. That kind of smoke. I wouldn't say it's lingering off in the distance at all. It's right in your face. Not going to be a Chris scent. Just saying. This one's a no-go for me. I should have probably done a souffle. I'm not getting wet autumn leaves. I'm not getting moss-covered oak trees, cedar wood. I'm getting smoke. I feel like, you know, the neighbor's house was just on fire and this is what the remains are in your house from that. Like, it filtrated through. Not a fan. I'm sure some people maybe enjoy that. I, yeah. That's a little too much for me. Okay, this next one is silver and gold. I'm sorry, that's all I could say about it. It just smelled like smoke. 
silver and gold. Uh, silver and gold is sensual vanilla, sparkling amber, cashmere woods, toasted marshmallows, and pink lavender. Again, more lavender, which is why I said I don't need more lavender. Let me ask you guys a question. When your lids are cracked like this, do you just tape them or do you go ahead and just bag the wax? Because I need to know. Because I've got quite a few coming that have cracked lids and I didn't know if I could tape it, if it'll still keep the scent fresh in there or if I should just put the tub in a bag. This is beautiful. Central vanilla, sparkling amber, cashmere woods, toasted marshmallows, and pink lavender. This is stunning. And look how beautiful it is. It reminds me of New Year's Eve. I would like this in a body care line. Perfume. Body lotion. Oh, gosh, that is so beautiful. <sighs> yes, cashmere woods, toasted marshmallows. There's this sweetness here in the pink lavender. Now, what's the difference between pink lavender or lavender? I don't know. Maybe it's softer. It's so, it's very soft. That sensual vanilla is just, oh, that's beautiful. That is beautiful. That's the vanilla that I've always wanted in like a perfume. This is so pretty. Cashmere Woods. But it's soft. It's a soft cashmere. It's not a harsh. Everything about this is very soft. It's, um... <sighs> this would be a beautiful perfume. I wonder if Tiffany would ever do perfumes. Or not Tiff. Yeah, Tiffany. I'm getting so confused. Now, on the bottom, it must be the sparkling amber. The bottom, I'm getting a little bit more of a um, uh, smokiness, like a woodsier vibe on the bottom. This is just beautiful, you guys. I mean, really, it is. It, this is stunning. I love the silver and gold. Love it video is going to be so long so long okay oh look being risky again balsaming cashmere what was i thinking i was thinking i'm trusting in the trust in the wax queen gotta trust her and she knows what she's doing when she blends. Vel vanilla balsam, sugar cookies, cashmere cream, and vanilla birch. So, again, see the lid? This one I should bag. I'm not even going to waste my time taping that one. I'm just going to put the whole tub in a bag. Because I don't want to, you know, don't want to lose any scent. Unless I hate the wax. <laughs> It's beautiful though. Look how beautiful. Beautiful green. Okay, let's get this ready to pop out. Vanilla balsam, sugar cookies, cashmere cream, and vanilla birch. So is this going to smell like a perfumey tree? Will this smell like a man's cologne? Actually, it smells kind of pretty, but let's pop it out because the bottom could be much stronger. But the top was very lovely. I got um, a lot of the cashmere cream on the top and some sugar cookies. No, this is beautiful. This is very beautiful. 
it, the balsam in here and the vanilla birch, the vanilla balsam and vanilla birch are, it's more vanilla heavy than it is the birch and balsam. And it's very creamy. It's super creamy. I like this one. I like this one very much. This is up there with the Christmas trees and cream. This one's good. Oh, that's really good. Balsam and cashmere. I really, really like this. Oh my God, look at me. Liking the trees. Beautiful. Beautifully done. Again, that's the way tree notes should be. You're going right in that pile. Why are you in that pile? Did I want you in that pile? Maybe I did. Uh -huh. Okay, this next one here. Again, sounded super interesting, and that is Modern Farmhouse. Modern Farmhouse is Tonka Oud, Tonka and Oud, Vanilla Birch, and Egyptian Amber. This one just sounded like it was going to be wonderful. So this one here is another cracked lid, So, but this one looks like I could tape it. If you suggest that, you know. Okay, so let's get a piece of, just get this ready to pop out. Let it breathe a minute. And then I will show you how beautiful the colors are on this. It's a beautiful khaki, like a khaki brown. Oh, that glitter is so gorgeous. All right, let's see. Tonka and Oud. The oud is very light. This is pretty. Okay. Um, again, I'm going to go bathroom, bedroom. Scent, it's very... Um, very perfumey. It's pretty. Now, the Egyptian Amber, I'm thinking, kind of getting a little bit of a, oh, cotton, am I just thinking Egyptian cotton? This makes me want to sneeze, to be honest with you. And this is perfumey. I thought the oud would have been a little stronger. I find that the Egyptian amber is the powerhouse here. I could be wrong. But I find the oud is a little bit lighter. I like oud. Maybe not. Maybe it's just her oud. It's pretty. It's very pretty. Would I repurchase? Eh, maybe. This is a lot of wax for the strength of this scent. It's a lot. So I wouldn't need to repurchase this anytime soon. But it is very nice. It's a little on the stronger side. It's very heavily perfumed. Borderline cologne. But not quite there. What's this one? Okay. Next one is Shadowlands. Shadowlands is earthy notes of dried pompous grass, powdery tonka bean, soft musk with hints of white currant. Very pretty. Beautiful wax. It's very wintry. I could smell this already. <sighs> oh. 
Um, well, I really would like to get it out of the... Uh, there we go. Yeah, I'm not sure yet. Let me pop, let me get this out and the, the instantly I got um, clean, like a fresh, it was a little fresh. No, there's a note in here. This isn't for me. This, um, if you're familiar with Scentsy and Fluffy Fleece, I'm getting a Fluffy Fleece vibe from this and I can't do it. It almost makes me um, nauseous. I just, I don't like it. It's, to me, it's off-putting. I don't know what the scent note is. I don't know if it's powdery tonka bean or dried pompous grass. I don't know, but I can't, I, I just don't even want to go forward with it because, all right, I will. It's off-putting to me. To my nose, there's a set note in here that I just, I can't. It's give me the same vibe when I smell fluffy fleece. It's like a, it just, it, it's off-putting. I don't know what it would be. I don't know if it is Tonka, this powdery Tonka. It is, it's got a musky note to it. I don't know what white currant smells like. Um, it is powdery and musky. Uh, clean scent. Um, maybe I'm thinking clean in my mind because it reminds me so much of fluffy fleece. That's definitely a no. I can't even, I can't. All right, we're down to the last of them. This one is Trickin' and Treatin'. I picked this up in a full tub because Alexa says it's wonderful and she absolutely loves it. And Alexis is like the teddy bees, in my mind, the teddy bees queen because she loves it so much. And so she's like EF Hunting. When Alexa speaks, everyone listens. <laughs> I'm getting silly now because this thing is too, I'm at two hours. Beautiful. I could smell this already. It smells amazing. It is purple sugar, which is pink and blue sugar, beach treats, and vanilla cake pops. I could smell the beach treats. I haven't put this to my nose yet, and it smells amazing. Okay. Ugh. This is nice. And you do get the pink and blue sugar here. So you get this little perfumey note. Then you get these yummy beach treats and that vanilla cake pops. Oh, that's pretty. That's pretty. Thank you, Alexis. You got me good on the uh, snow cones by the sea, too, because I bought two tubs of that, and it was wonderful. It is wonderful. I haven't melted it. On cold, it's amazing, and I will melt it this summer. Come on, you. Pop out. That's what I said. Everybody, listen to Alexis. <laughs> She's going to kill me. She's going to be like, stop telling people to listen to me. <laughs> Gosh, come on. There we go. This is really pretty. I like the beach treats. Um, you get that marshmallowy, salty air. The vanilla cake pops is making it nice and sweet and gives it that little bit of that bakeriness to it. In the pink, to, to kind of take away the perfuminess of the pink and blue sugar. This is really a beautiful scent. Absolutely. And would I repurchase? Absolutely would. Very nice. And so, so pretty. Did I show it? Okay. So, let's put this in this pile here. 
my absolute love pile is quite big. Okay, Harvest Cider and Birch. Let's see if I can find it. Harvest Cider and Birch is a new scent. It is plums, dark cherries, vanilla birch, peppered woods, and warm pomegranate cider. I absolutely love cherries. Um, again, I like plum. Generally, I like plum. Um, it smells amazing now that I popped it out. Or pop the top off, but I'm going to try to get this popped out here. I think when I'm looking here, I picked up quite a few of the new blends. There was only a few that I passed on. And some of them I only passed on because I was like, well, you know, do I need another one or do, you know, similar, you know, similar scent notes and whatnot. And there we go. It popped out. See this lovely ring of wax. Okay. Oh. Okay, this is like a woody cider. Very nice. Um, very fall. This again, I feel October harvest season. It's sweet. Um, but it's like that um Cook down sweetness. It's the plums and the dark cherries and that pomegranate. But this this the notes of these fruits aren't like super fruity fruity. They're cooked down. This is really super nice. The vanilla birch and the peppered woods. You it's it's get that beautiful woodiness to it, like um Let's just say these were all cooked down and you're, they put them into a, I don't know, a wooden bowl. I just, this is really pretty. Super, super pretty. I like this very much. Totally get the harvest time. Love the bottom on that. It's all glittery. This is, again... Right when you get those crisp, crisp autumn nights. Perfect for that. Just perfect. I'm excited to warm this next year. Because even now, let's just say it was ready to go right now. My nose is like itching so bad. And I don't want to go itch. But, so I'm just kind of like tapping at it. Too much wax. And I probably got glitter on it. Okay, um, Harvest Cider and Birch. Oh, God, it's itching so bad. Where do I want to put this? I'm just going to put this here. Because it is a fall scent. Okay, Cozy Lavender Cream. Another lavender. I didn't think I bought that many lavenders, to be honest with you. This is a new scent. It is toasted vanilla, cashmere cream, and lavender marshmallow. And it is stunning. It's already popped out nicely. Beautiful. Ugh. Just what I need. No. Let me see. Cozy lavender cream, toasted vanilla. I was going to say, it did seem a little bit toasted. Like, that's, that's not the word I'm looking for. Like, I, I picked up like a smokier something there. I don't know if that would be the toasted vanilla. Yeah, I'm not crazy about this one. Yeah, this I'm not a fan. Almost picking up um, a star anise or a licorice note on the bottom. I'm picking up like a licorice note. Black licorice. Star anise on this. I'm, it's okay. Uh, yeah, I'm not a fan of this one. This isn't a uh, lavender I would be drawn to. I am more drawn to the look of it 
right now than I am anything else. It's got a licorice note in it. Whether there's licorice in it or not, it, not I'm smelling that. I do definitely smell a licorice note. Toasted vanilla, I don't know. Yeah, lavender marshmallow. Yeah, I, God. Itching. Not a fan of this one. White Woods and Smoky Vetiver. This is White Oak, Cashmere, Soft Woods, Vanilla, Palo Santo, Vetiver, and Sweet Smoke. Oh, I like how she did this. She's like half and half. All right, so let's see how this one smells. I like this. This is soft. Okay. Soft. Oh, it says soft woods. I want to see that smoky note if it's more on the bottom. Oh, come on. I'm struggling getting these out, you guys. It's like they're getting hung up on one side. There's definitely a smoke note in here, and it is very soft, and it's sweet. It's not like the neighbor's house burned down, not that kind of smoke. Um, this is pretty. Um, this is very, very light. I wouldn't even think about... Um, warming this just yet this has a this has a way to my nose this has a ways to go but i think when it gets there it'll be beautiful the vanilla with the palo santo and the vetiver and that sweet smoky note picking up a little bit of the white oak the oaky note here this is this one's pretty. Who got white woods and smoky vetiver? Let me know what you think. I feel it's a little soft. Again, this was poured 11 1 23. Um, but I think this is gonna come together really, really, really pretty. I just yeah, I this is pretty. Oh yeah, okay. Kiss me goodnight. Didn't I smell this? I did. This is nice. Um, cashmere, uh, vanilla, plum, hot tea, warm amber. It's just, it's a warm, cozy, um, I smell more of the tea in here than I did in the sample. This is pretty. This is just a pretty scent. Yes, I do like that. I know I'm rushing now because my God, we're in, I'm in, this is, you know. Okay, this next one is Gone Baby Gone. Oh, uh, where are we? Gone Baby Gone. I'm going to find it. Okay. Soft wood, jasmine, citrus nectar, sandalwood, and light musk. I love jasmine. I love musk. Um, this has, did I say it says sandalwood in it? Yeah. Citrus nectar and some soft woods. This, this sounds like it's going to be beautiful. Oh. It's a pretty pink with mica, iridescent. Looks like fairy dust. This is gorgeous. Absolutely beautiful. Oh my goodness. Stunning. 
It's right now, it's very soft. I think this has a lot more cure time. Oh, I love jasmine, okay? So right off the bat, jasmine is just beautiful. It's a beautiful scent. There is soft woods here, but it's 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 nice. There it it doesn't make it uh it doesn't give you an outdoorsy feel. Citrus nectar, there is a brightness to this wax. Light musk. I don't know. Beautiful. This one, I think, given some time, is going to be a beautiful, beautiful scent. And that's going to go right there. Okay, last one, Spooky Encounters. And this is Sandalwood, Smoked Oud, Spiced Cherry, Black Raspberries, Hint of Patchouli, and Blackberry Cotton Candy. This is a, this is dark. Smoked oud. You could tell there's, it's something smoked in here. Um, picking up a lot of the fruit, but in a dark, like, um, the deep notes of the fruit. Oh, that blackberry blackberry cotton candy is nice. It, that, it, it's adding the sweetness that this needs. There is a hint of patchouli, and it's a, it's it's subtle. It's not. And there is a smokiness here. I don't pick up too much sandalwood. Right now, I pick up a lot of the berries. The ch the spiced cherry is there, the black raspberries, and this um, blackberry cotton candy. This is, this is interesting. Um, I like it. This tub is plenty. Uh, yeah. I like it. It's pretty. And I will melt it, and I will enjoy it while I'm melting it. It's not a scent that I'm going to be like, oh, my God, i got to have more. It's good. All right. You guys, I apologize. And you know what? I knew it was going to be long going in. I should have told you to grab a meal and not a snack. That's my fault. Um, so... Oh, I put this one in the wrong pile. Oh, I put this one in the wrong pile. Um, let's go. I'm just going to briefly, quickly, I promise you, my faves and my standouts for me. Gone, baby, gone. I think this is going to be beautiful with time. That's like a future. I'm being a fortune teller now. Balsaming cashmere. You guys, do you believe it? I really like this one a lot. These are like my standout and my favorites, and I would repurchase. Sugar, chestnut, and apple butter. Basic witch. Yes, more more, more. Carter. Carter's very interesting. Smoky, eucalyptus, cold. Mm. I like Carter. I want to hear other people's thoughts on Carter. I got to go watch some videos. I'm not going to have time tonight. Uh, right here. This is 
a superstar. Do I need, I, I might need, I don't know. Christmas trees and cream. This is my second tree note. Because the other one was trees too, the balsam. <laughs> Perfect storm. I like this. It was different. It was earthy and it was oceany. Witches be crazy for eggnog. Yes, more. Morning cup of Christmas. Absolutely love this. And I'm kind of feeling like I might need to go back and get a tub. I'm just saying, I this is, uh, yeah. Nutcracker sweet. Really like this. Buttery nuts. That sounded bad. I, I take that back. I'm sorry. I'm not trying to be vulgar. Oh, this wasn't the buttery nuts. This was a buttery nutty one. I don't know. Oh. Trickin' and treating. Definitely, I would repurchase. And John Snow. She did it. She got me for trees, and she got me with some meat. Okay, those are my absolute favorites. I've got to keep them in a separate pile because I need to think, do I want to order any more of these? Possibly this Witches Be Crazy for Eggnog because that's a souffle. And definitely Morning Cup of Christmas. I think I need a tub in these two. And uh, Nutcracker Sweet. This was just butter. Okay, so there's those. Then there's these two here that I pulled. Brown butter and praline. That's sitting out with bakery and lists because I'm very interested to warm those and see what they do and how they trans, especially this brown butter and praline. I really want to see the trans, I really want to smell the transformation on that one. And I think this one here. Is going to transform as well when it's warmed okay then I have a big tower here I'm not going to give you the scent notes a tall tower of I really I like it I like it a lot but I have enough and I'm good um, but I do like it I'm excited to warm it I have over here again the um, the souffles that I like. They're great. They're good. Except this one. Um, but I don't need any more. The ones that are a no for me. Blueberry Dump Cake. Cozy Lavender Cream. Shadowlands. I don't even want to think about it. I... Jack's, your neighbor's house burnt down. Vanilla balsam in the perfect holiday. Super tree. And dream state, just not a lavender for me. So, out of all these purchases, these are the only ones that I could probably say I won't even warm. Um, so... I guess I'm going to be starting wax boxes for friends and that I know would like these scents. Okay, that's it, you guys. I am sorry. I apologize. Um, but, you know, that was my first sniffs and my first super haul from Teddy Bees. And I wanted to take my time and smell it all. And to be honest with you, once I do this video and get it all edited and ready to upload, which is going to take another two hours. Um, I'm going to sniff it all again, especially because I want it now that it's out of the box and I'm going to see because sometimes these scent notes change a bit. So we're going to check them out. I'm going to check them out again. All right. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate it. And I appreciate that you took the time to watch this crazy 
long video. Leave me a coffee cup if you watch the whole thing. Thank you again. Please comment, like, and subscribe. I appreciate everyone, and we will talk again real soon. Happy Thanksgiving. If I don't see you before, you won't. Have a wonderful Thanksgiving. I hope you enjoy your friends, your family, whatever it is that you're doing on Thanksgiving. I hope it's wonderful and blessed and beautiful. Bye.